Hey guys, to Legit City here. Today we're going to be talking about telescopes and how to do space scanning on your star map. To open the star map, just hit the letter Z on your keyboard. Now, of course, if you guys don't know the star map, if you guys have explored the star map, you're going to be able to hover over it and it'll tell you what it is. If you have an asteroid nearby that's found points of interest and the details about it, or you have nothing there. This is an explore tile. And then you're going to want to use a telescope in order to find out what's behind the question mark tiles right there. And today, that means we're going to be going over telescopes. Now to get it started, telescopes require a skill called astronomy in order for your duplicates to be able to use the telescopes. And the telescopes that we have available are going to be the regular telescope and the enclosed telescope. Now, although there's two different buildings here, the major difference is going to be that in space, you have something called a space vacuum when the gases get zapped away. What you're going to need is an Atmos suit or a gas mask in order to operate the telescope because of the fact that the gas is going to be run thin and your duplicates are not going to be able to breathe. So the telescope is going to require some sort of a breathing mechanism. You could also just release oxygen right here so that they could breathe. But if you guys don't want to provide a way to do that, you guys could also build the enclosed telescope. The enclosed telescope is just like the regular telescope, except it has a oxygen port for your duplicates to go inside the uh, area and start telescoping with an oxygen in the environment. This means that your duplicates don't need suits or gas masks in order to be out here. Now, one of the things that you do need is to have space exposure for the uh, telescopes to work properly. I believe it's, it's a 16 tile range for you to be able to use a telescope in the area. So if you're not close enough to the top of the map, they might not work. Now, let's talk about the range of the buildings. The telescope actually only has three tiles range. So from the asteroid where we're at, it goes out one, two, three tiles, and those three tiles, they could be scouted out. So that means from here, one, two, three, one, two, three, we get a area around us, three tiles range that we could scout out with the telescope. Now, the enclosed telescope actually has a four tile range. This means that you have a wider range, which means that this area that we scouted out with, this layer on the outside was all because of the enclosed one. So there is a range difference between the two telescopes. Now, you guys might be wondering, does that mean we have to colonize the planets and then from there start telescoping to find other planets and then go planet to planet or asteroid to asteroid in order to do this? Actually, no. The other way of doing so is going to be putting a telescope on your rocket. If you guys didn't know, you guys could do a setup where you guys put a telescope in the area and if the rocket is close enough to a undiscovered location, your duplicates will start scouting. So our duplicates on this rocket right here will not scout since one, two, three, and all the tiles around that has been discovered. The moment we get to this tile space, we might be, or they will be able to start scouting out these tiles right here. And so you're going to have to either do asteroid surface top uh, space scanning or having it on a rocket as the rocket becomes a point of reference. So if we were to move out to here, one, two, three, those tiles will be able to be scouted out. And so by getting a better rocket, better engine, we could go farther out and scout the entire star map. But guys, that has been telescopes in the oxygen not included basics. How the buildings work, the different nuances between the two, skills needed, and of course, how to start exploring more of your star map. If you guys have any questions about this, leave a comment down below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And of course, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys.